Hi, I'm Elle. I'm the Keystone Stitcher, and I'm back with the Floss Tube Extra. Today is going to be a flip through of this Cross Stitch Gold Birds Collection magazine. So it's quite large. It has 130 pages in it. So these, these collections they do are, are larger than most magazines. I did not realize that you can purchase this as a PDF. I happened to be at Joann's and saw this and I was attracted to several of the designs. I love this puffin. I love the strawberries. I love that bird sampler. And then on the back, you know, the robins. I, I just, and I went, okay, I'm buying it. <laughs> so I thought you might like to see uh, what's in here. So this here, you can purchase this at www.gathered, G-A-T-H-E-R-E-D dot how, H-O-W. And from there, you can either make a purchase of the printed copy or you can download the PDF. So we're going to try to do this rather quickly, um, but I don't want to go too quick. I just, I'm not going to read you all the different things. So this is the inside cover. And there's one of the designs that I fell in love with. And here's some of the other ones in the magazine. Oops, I almost dropped that. All right, so we're going to start. We've got Best of the British. So these birds are all British birds. This first one is called Meadow Home. Right there. And this is by Jenny Barton. I don't know where the stitch count is on this one. Um, oh, here we go. Stitch count. Nope. All right, it tells me that it... It tells me the overall size, but it doesn't tell me stitch count. I'm not doing real well. I glanced through this. I went through and, and checked all the different pieces, but I didn't check for stitch count. So I just, let me bring this in close. The details on those birds, and then you got the wildflowers. And I thought, oh yeah, I wouldn't do that as a cushion cover. I mean, I do cushion covers, but that's not one I would do. All right, so let's see if she has a stitch cup. Okay, this is 146 by 156. This next one is Pick of the Crop. This one is by Doreen Jones, which means it probably has a ton of dock stitch. And it's that basket of strawberries with the birds and the little butterfly and the flowers. So everything about summer. And that one, they turned into like a little quilted wall hanging. And this one has some French knots. It's 127 by 156. Okay, this next one is just feathers. I'm not sure what this one is called yet. I'll know when I turn the page. But those feathers, I love, let's see if I can bring that in there. I just love how those colors blend in there. The swirls that you get in those feathers. Okay, I'm not sure where the chart is for that one. Okay, so this next one, the chart is not there. I may find it later. This is by Carol Thornton. It's called Follow the Leader. And growing up and living where I've lived, I can't tell you how many times we've stopped traffic and let the, the ducks cross the road. Using that to block the cold draft under a door, I guess. That'd be cute. I don't know that I'd want it to get all dirty. Um, this is 67 inches high by 274 inches long. Okay, this next one's called Garden Visitors, this next section. And I really like all of them. I especially like little red birds. I'm not too into the pink, but... I like all those. So these are by Fiona Baker. And the average stitch count is 66 high by 70 wide. And you got a couple strength French knots, but other than that, nothing special. This is called Feathered Friends. And this is one that I think I would really like to stitch. And there you go. Look at all those different birds in there. And that little thatch cottage. Yeah, 
So this one is, did I say, oh, this is also by Doreen Jones. And it is 129 high by 157 wide. So it's not real big. This one is called Scent from Above and it's by Fiona Baker. And the one thing I will say about these birds, this is a UK edition. And I actually was talking to a neighbor of mine who was from Scotland. And we were sitting outside looking at the birds. We have robins and stuff hopping around uh, right now this time of year. And I said, what is with your birds? They're shorter and they're chubbier. And, and she said, yeah, you, ours here are much more slender and longer. But I still think it's adorable. Okay, and that one is 138 by 147. And you need two skeins of B5200. This next section is called Ornamental Designs. And these have like black work and stuff. There, there's just different stitches, I think, in the, I think that's what these ones are. They have different, yeah, this one down here is black work, but I don't think they all do. This one's called Bright and Beautiful, and it is a, a folk design by Doreen Jones. <laughs> and there's the folk art. I like those colors. They, those colors are really nice. I don't think I would stitch that one. That's not one of the birds. It's 138 by 138. And then we have Sea Love Grow. This is a little summer sampler. This is by the Historical Sampler Company. And, and here we got that one. Let's see if I can bring that in. It says, all things grow with love. And then it says, rose, poppy, sunflower, tulip, pansy. On each side, it has the same flowers. And it says, all things grow with love on both the top and the bottom. And so, yeah, there's your, those little birds up there with the heart are adorable. So that's the historical sampler. And that one, let me find the, I can't find the stitch count. Hold on a second, guys. There it is. It is 175 high by 115 wide. Okay, this one is in the spotlight. This is by Doreen Jones. It's just that peacock feather. And I believe there's metallic threads in that. Let me look. I'm pretty sure that's metallics in there. No, there's one. There's DMC light effect and dark gold. Other than that, th that's just, so I think that's center area maybe, I don't know. It looks like it's throughout in a couple places. Okay, so this stitch count is 130 by 130. Now, Birds and Bees, this is by Fiona Baker. And this is your black work pieces. So I love the ladybugs up there. You got your bees, hummingbird, butterfly. I don't do a lot of lap work, but if I could find a way to incorporate that into something, I love each and every one of those insects. And I love the hummingbird, I love the insects. And these are each 68 high by 70 wide. This next one is called Amazing Grace. It's by Leslie Tier. And there we go. Is that a crane? Looks like a crane to me. Yeah, it's a crane. You never know sometimes, right? Okay, so there's your crane. And that one measures... That one also has a light effect in it. Uh, it measures 114 by 114. This next section is called Around the World. And as you can see, there's a pretty lady up there, if you guys are into the ladies. Get the glare off. This is called Eastern Beauty. Let me make sure all three of them. I still didn't find those feathers. I'm not sure where they're at. Okay, so all three panels are there. So these three panels, I would stitch that as one. I wouldn't stitch that as three panels. Um, but this is by Maria Diaz. Sorry, I turned the page so I can read that. 
Now we bring it in closer. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let me see if it tells me the overall stitch count or the individual ones. The maximum stitch count is 91 by 69. So yeah, they just give you the three individual stitch counts. This next one is called Emerald Gold. The artwork is by Shannon Wassily. What is her? What is she? I know. I can't remember what her company is called. And that's your lady with the birds. Those of you who know, tell me what her company's name is. I know it's, hmm, I've drawn a blank on that. Okay, so this one here is 146 by 114. It has French knots, it has back stitch and chronic, it has cross stitch and chronic, and it has seed beads. So you've got beads, you've got chronic, you've got French knots, you've got all the things. This next one is called Fantastic Feathers by Doreen Jones. It's that gorgeous peacock. Look at those feathers. So yeah. And this one, let me give you the measurement on that one so you know how big it is. This one is 147 high by 127 wide. This one also has um, beads and French knots and it has two chronics in it. Chronic, chronic, chronic? I don't use metallics. And there's instructions on it. I can't show you because part of the chart is here, but they have instructions on how to add the beads. And so it's, it's very detailed. This is called Songbird of Spring by Leslie Tear. And there's that, card. again, our cardinals are more elongated and thinner. They're, they're not as round, but I would still stitch that. I really like that one. And then to see the cherry blossoms. I would have to put on a different fabric though. I think this gray fabric that, you know, even though you do have the back stitch, I think some of these flowers just kind of blend in. And I would probably do that on a really pale, pale blue or even a green, you know, to have it like greenery from a tree or something. But I don't think I would do it on the gray. But that is one that I would really like to stitch. And this stitch count is 150 high by 130 wide. This next section, I can't show you all of them, but, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, this is one of those days. Um, these are monograms. So each one, so R for Robin, P for Peacock, M for Macaw, yeah, Macaw. So you've got a different bird. That would be really cute to do as a sampler, you know, just to do the entire alphabet. And, and like for a kid's room or something, have the, I'm just gonna do this from far away so you can see. It's actually set up in such a way that you know, you could do that. I know I shouldn't do that, but you could do that as a sampler. And then it also has the number zero through nine. So you could do that. Why does it have? Okay, so you've got a hummingbird in here. There's a, for X, it's a Xantis hummingbird. I've never heard of that one. But yeah, that the, now the numbers don't have the bird's names on them, but all the rest do. Okay, so now we've got Alive with Color. This is by Carol Thornton. And look at all those of you who love your pinks and your purples and all your pastel -y colors. You're covered there. It's a gorgeous hummingbird. And that one is 130 by 130. This next one, <laughs> hey Carrie, if you're watching, <clears throat> we have more owls. So this is Spectacular Scenery. And yeah, those owls are adorable. Okay, so let's see what's in the Spectacular Scenery. This is by Amanda Gregory. This is called Clifftop View and it's a puffin. And I have to tell you, I love puffins. And 
I really fell in love. I mean, I've, I love all birds. Uh, we don't have puffins here where I live, but when my oldest granddaughter was little, she loved uh, this animated cartoon series. They were, um, they were movies, a series of movies. It was the Swan Princess. And in there, there was this puffin who was, used the word bird brain. I mean, absent-minded, kept messing everything up. He was so comical. And that made me, even though I think they're a beautiful bird, that made me just love those birds even more. So that one, and I, I love, I've always been by water. So I, um, anything that involves water birds, I like that. So it's 168 high by 168 wide. And, oh, we've got a little bit of half cross in this one as well. Okay, this next one are Arctic Wonders. This is by Jenny Barton. And there's our family of owls. I bet you that's all half stitched up here. That'll probably stitch up pretty quickly if that's all half stitched. And that one is, let me see here. Oh, you have cross stitch in one strand. So the sky is in one strand and then the rest is in two strands. Um, this is 154 high by 134 wide. The next one is called Little Love Birds and it's by Carol Thornton. And it's that right there. And they're cute. They're, they're really cute. Um, you do have French knots in here. You have a little bit of back stitch. It's 130 by 131. And just to make sure you realize this colored area, those little color, those are all stitched as well. So that border is stitched, but you could leave that border off. I think it looks better without the border. That's just me personally. All right, so now we have, do we have any more? Yes, we do. This is called Down by the Sea, Two Little Gulls. I like that scene. That, now I grew up inland. I didn't grow up along the ocean. Um, I grew up along a freshwater lake, but I lived along the ocean and that reminds me of the ocean. So um, yeah, that one I like as well. See, I like so many of these. Now I gotta find enough time to stitch them all in my lifetime, right? Okay, so this one measures 160 by 160. This is called Welcome Home by Doreen Jones. And it's that little birdhouse with all those flowers. I like the colors. I'm not sure I would stitch that one though. I don't know why. I'm just not sure I would stitch that one. And this one measures 147 high by 115 wide. And then you have stitching guide in the end. You also have this little tiny bird you can stitch. I hope you didn't get that. Just really tiny. It's probably 20. Yeah, it's 20 by 20. So extremely tiny. And that's the end of the magazine. So a lot of good designs in there. If you love birds, you might be interested. I hope you enjoyed this. And thanks for watching. Bye.